Oh, and now he's just stood outside. <laughs> yeah, we'll do the boss without you, buddy. That's no problem. You stay over there. Oh, my. What? How? Why? And then we pulled the boss as well. What are we doing? What is going on, boys? I don't even want to, like... Oh, my God. Pug life, eh? We are on the Survival Hunter. I don't know if anybody's actually requested this, except my Twitch chat, maybe. But we're on the Survival Hunter anyway, because I do actually enjoy it. And I need a weekly on the Hunter. So here we are. I'm not the lead. I was about to ready check. Uh, I have just sorted out the misdirect macro. It's the same one I use for the tricks macro, where I copy the character name and then just whack it in there. So then I can just defaultly press that for the duration of the run and not even really have to think about it. So... This is a 21. These are the talents that I'm running. There are a few different builds that you can run for survival. But this is what I'm running right here. Shit, I don't have flanking strike on my bars. Oh, no, 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 no. Where can I even put that? I actually might just... I can whack it on shift C. I'm never going to press that in this dungeon. God damn it. And we're going left at the start. Okay. So, yeah, that's the build we're running. We are playing with the cooldown. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to lust it. Oh, I'm the lust as well. Okay, that's fine because we're survival We play with a ferocity pet anyway. We get the leech out of it <clears throat> um, It is a fortified week. So yeah, we're gonna go left first. I'm gonna save my kick for one somebody's mantle, I think and just pray that they kick the rest of it You know gonna focus that gonna lust here gonna throw my bombs into a fury of the eagle Get my tear set roll in throw some more bombs into a coordinated assault so I've got this horrible, horrible, horrible... Well, I mean, it's not its not my fault. You have to play the spec like this, unfortunately. Um, but you have a macro. I kick the mending word. You have a macro where when you go into your cooldowns, because you're buffed... Right, so this is going to be hard for me to explain. But basically, your cooldown buffs either your wildfire bomb or your kill shot. But it's based on when your pet auto attacks. So for the duration of the cooldown, you have to turn your pet's basic attacks off and then have the macro. Oh my god, I'm dead. Have the macro back into your um into your spenders inside your so your your bomb and also your kill shot, right? And then after you come out of the cooldown, you then why is this not dying? You then have to have another separate macro, which I've gotten two which you just turn back on your pet's basic attacks. It is the clunkiest thing in the world. It's the clunkiest cooldown in the world. It's a shame because I love the cooldown because the cleaving kill shots feel unreal. I just missed my kick on that. God damn it. Fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Um, yeah, the, the cleaving kill shots are insane. They do so much damage. They all crit for like probably 300k at this point. I can't even remember. I'm dead. I'm health potting. I'm using another defensive. Let's finish these off. I'm going to feign death that soul burn from the Colossus. Little trick for you, for you hunters out there. Or night elves or rogues. He is charging to melee. I'm going to stun this one out. Stunned. Nice. And then we can continue. I mean, this next pack is scary as well. But we've been pumping. So, like, what's our damage breakdown? Serpent Sting pumps as well. Like... Serpent's thing does a lot of damn. I don't really know why. Right, I can't even feign death that. Yikes. Uh, I actually did no damage, though. Okay, no, nobody was baiting. We needed... I don't know if the monk's been placing a statue. But we needed a monk statue so that the merciless assault gets baited to the uh, statue instead. So, yeah, the priest is just taking them all at the moment i'm gonna kick that and then i'm just gonna pop my cooldowns here off the rip i haven't got my buff my tier set for it very unfortunate gonna oh my god this is going rough so far the demon hunter has lived the whole pool so he is now on top of the damage meter for now this is hurting pain death that instantly don't even want a little tick of that kill shot again okay so i'm out of my cooldowns now i've got turn back on my pets basic attacks Lovely design. Okay, right. A little bit scuffed at the start. Oh, the monk doesn't have a statue, apparently. Yeah, so those merciless assaults will always target a ranged player. So if you have everybody stack in melee and use something like a monk's totem and keep that outside of the pack, they'll just repeatedly charge that instead. I'm going to kick that. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, these juggernauts hurt otherwise. As you can quite clearly see. So other than that, in AoE, I'm just spending my bombs and my butchery. Gonna use flanking strike when I've got no focus. Use my kill command as well. That's gonna buff up my raptor strike. I really like playing with mongoose bite. I don't really know why I don't have that on my build right now. But, um... Yeah, I think it's a little bit more single target damage. The, the thing, the disappointing thing is, I don't actually think it's that big of a single target gain. Right. Let's start with our Fury of the Eagle. Which can also reduce the cooldown of. I'm going to kick that by getting kill command resets with the talent that I'm running. Look at that. Damn, dude. Love it. I'm going to feign death that transfusion. Didn't even realize that was on me. Nice. I wish I had my cooldowns for this. That would have been some big damn right there. Flanking strike as well. It didn't go off because the target died. We kill adds on boss. Yes, we do. Right. Hunter's Mark. Um, What am I doing here? I'm going to save my cooldowns for when the ad comes up. I think. So we're going to Fury of the Eagle now. And then throw a bomb because that's going to refund instantly. And then we get the kill shots rolling. I should have prior the kill shots. Oh my god. Right. I'm going to take that. And I'm going to harpoon back in. Harpoon is maybe one of the most fun abilities in the game, honestly. It's so sick. I'm ready with an exil here, but the monk is pumping the heels, so we're chilling. We're kind of pumping on single target here as well. I suppose we did have our cooldowns up for the adds, which is always nice. Right, I'm going to stun this off rip. I overlapped with the DH. We've got Fury of the Eagle for every single one, maybe, so that's huge. We get the prio damage from our tier set on our bombs as well. After we Fury of the Eagle. Right, I'm going to jump over here. Then we're going to Harpoon back in. Look at that mobility, baby. And then the boss is pretty much dead. Going to save my explosive shot here for downstairs. We got 10 deaths already. When did that happen? <laughs> Sorry, bless me. I know the first ball was scuffed, but 10 deaths, that's a lot. Apparently, you only keep Fury of the Eagle active for a single tick to activate the tier set. I've heard you do that on single target, but there it was two targets, right? So I just left it ticking. But yeah, I, I have heard you do that on single target. I kick that. Uh, do we really want to pull this? I'm going to Binding Shot right here. A little bit awkward. I'm gonna... Right, okay. You kick that. Nice. Survival is super fun to play, though. Outside of the clunky cooldown, this is a super fun spec. Because it's a hunt spec that you actually get, like, a visual feedback from as well. Which is always a bonus. Like, butchery, you get that red, like, swirl around you. I actually love that animation there. Like, it actually looks, like, impactful, you know? Right, are we taking mid, do you think? I just overlap my kick there. I don't know, I'm banking on the fact that we're not killing mid. We'll see. Oh, almost got global lock there. Like, we might jump down and do Razan next, maybe. We are doing some big dam here. Razan next, okay, okay. Is this guy listening to- is this guy in the stream as well? I reckon that was just coincidence. With two kick adds. Okay. Alright, I'm going to put that on my focus then. Get that on the focus early. I mean, I can go up with him and start doing damage as well, actually. I don't know whether you're meant to butchery on two targets or just Raptor Strike instead. Nice kicks. Huh? Oh, I'm targeting the same mob. <laughs> I thought I was targeting one mob and then had the other on my focus, so I thought we kicked both. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. I don't really know how I managed to do that. Nice. Hunter Smart the boss. Then we're going to Fury of the Eagle. That's going to be some serious damn right there. And then I'm going to save here for after the terrifying visage. Four, three, Got two minutes on Lust as well. One. Do that. Then we get back in. Get back in the mix. Here we go. Wait. So there... I pressed my cooldown and I had to wait for like half a second to make sure that my pet actually basic attacked. 
Because otherwise, it would just munch my extra damage on my next bomb instead. Which I don't know. Use shadow meld, 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 meld. Use racial. <laughs> it's not the end of the world, is it? Um. Yeah, I don't know how much of a loss spending it on bombs actually is. But I mean, the bleeding gash Four. dot that you get from the kill shot bleed Two. is humongous, especially in cleave. So like here, I've got nothing to press. So I do want to cancel my Fury of the Eagle and single target, but like sometimes I feel like you can leave it ticking for a second. Meld, 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 meld. But yeah, bleeding gash. It's an interesting name, isn't it? Listen, I don't make the rules. Get the reset on the kill command there. And thank God it's not a tyrannical week, so we don't have to deal with a tyrannical Yasma, eh? I'm a gnome. <laughs> Do we have any night elves? Oh, the monk can. Yeah, Four, fair. Three, two, one. <laughs> Imagine actually playing a gnome. Imagine that your main character is, like, unironically a gnome. Isn't that, isn't that just mental? Right, and then... Oh, I didn't get the kill shot off. Priest overtook us at the end. God damn. Monk can, doesn't matter who. Well, I think you'll find Mr. Palin, Paladin God. It kind of does matter who. I'm going to turtle here, because they're all going to leap. kind of does matter who, because they have to be Night Elf to Shadow Mail, don't they, my friend? Yes, they do. I hate this pool so much, man. Like, it's just all over the shop. Target you. Like, survival's got that kind of playstyle again where it's like all... I mean, it's not all based around bombs, but the bombs are a lot of the damage. Which is always a good time. BL the next pool. Yikes. What are we doing here? No, this is a horrible pool. This is actually a horrible pool. This is so many kicks. Wait, BL this? Okay. Interesting. I do what the man tells me to do, okay? This is a lot of kicks. But we'll be fine. But I, l I lusted way too early, but I just didn't know what we were pulling because he just stopped. He wanted to kill the Sourids first, but... I kick that. That went off. Nice. We should still live here, maybe? Oh, yikes, dude. I'm going to pop a defensive, pop an exil as well. Yeah, horrible pull in a pug. It is only a 21. But still. Uh, freezing trap that, Bray. Went on the wrong target. Oh no, kick stops, stops, stops. Oh no, my fear of the eagle. I am molding. I'm molding. Because it's not, because it's like a low ish key for me as well. I'm just not respecting this key at all. Like normally I would have a focus mob in all of these packs and like do the right kicks, but I'm kind of slacking on that right now. All right, we're going to skip here. A little imprison from the demon hunter, my friend. Lordis, thank you for the follow. Or Mind Soothe it. Yeah, that works. Mr. DH, there we go. We got a Mind Soothe. I still hate the Mind Soothe, so I'm going to stealth past. Oh, it was on CD. Fair. You know what? Fair enough. Could have communicated with us. Oh, and now he's just stood outside. <laughs> yeah, we'll do the boss without you, buddy. That's no problem. You stay over there. Oh, my. What? How? Why? And then we pulled the boss as well. What are we doing? What is going on, boys? I don't even want to, like... Oh, my God. Pug life, eh? Pug life. Like, what is the thought process there? Like, please, please, just enlighten me for a second what the thought process is there. It's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. We'll just run it back. <laughs> oh, God. You cannot write it, honestly. That's... I mean, that is the aim of this series, right? It's just to, like show the true pugging experience because like the, the stuff that happens in pugs you you can't script it it is amazing it's just so funny <laughs> right let's see if we can do it this time he might have imprison off cooldown this time so maybe he can imprison it 
and there's no way that we mess it up, right? Right, I'm just going to run past. Come on, Mr. D. There it is, dude. There it is. Right. I'm going to... Where is the demon hunter going? Okay, right, fine. Uh, right, let's get a tick of that going. And then let's spam the bombs while we're outside. I don't know if you can pull through that gate anymore. Right, how's the totems looking? Shadow Priest is struggling a little bit, but that's to be expected. I'll get mine down to about 15% and then chill. I got kill shot as well, so that'll make finishing the totem real nice. Real nice and easy. Oh my god, wait. How did they just, like, delete their totems? There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Then we go boss. Do that. Fury of the Eagle. Oh, I've got PI as well. Lovely. Right, kill shot. And then we pump them down. I don't know if I've ever had PI on single target on a survival hunter before. Let's see how it feels. Definitely feels nice on the BM hunter. That's for sure. Oh, I don't have... I thought I had, um... Harpoon up. I don't really know my single target prio on survival. Like, obviously I've been a hunter main through the whole of Dragonfly, but I mean, it's more like a BM main, honestly. I know how to play survival in AoE, sort of. Like, it's not that hard in AoE. But I think the prio on single target is... A, li a little bit tricky. Like, if I learned it, I'd be fine. But I just haven't bothered to actually go and learn it. That was the most instant kick I've ever seen in my life. Kill shot territory. Getting the kill command resets too. I'm going to stealth on the way out. Because I hate running out from this side. So I feel like I just hit the wall and fly into the other mobs. That is dead. Nice. Now it's just Yasma. Looking like a two chest angle, which is actually insane, considering how scuffed this key's been. But I guess we're just kind of pumping. If you ever see a quick kick on Pally, 9 out of 10 is just a good shield overlap. No, Paladin God is just a god. Oh my god, he actually is a god. I didn't realise this guy was like almost 3.6. Fair play. Getting his weeklies done. Fair bloody play. Okay, Yasma time. Gonna save my explosive shots for the adds. And maybe the Fury of the Eagles as well. But I think that's a little bit overkill. Especially on a four week. Um, oh, we don't have lust either for this. That was such an awkward lust in the middle. I feel like at that point we just save it for Yazzy. I just used my explosive shot. Nice. Good stuff, Bess. Oh, I've got PI now. Okay, well I'm gonna have to go, aren't I? I'm just gonna have to be done. Right, I'm going to kill shot these. Wallop. Big damage right there. Right, where are you? You're there. Oh my god, I thought there was a spider under the boss then. Kill shot. And then my cooldown's done. So now I press 2 to use my macro again. I'll show the macro at the end of the video as well, just in case there are any other survival hunters out there. There might be maybe one out there in the wilderness somewhere. I wish, again, like the Feral Druid, I wish more people played um, Survival Hunter. Because it is super fun. Do that. Bomb them again. I'm going to bind your shot as well, just so they don't come closer. And I'm going to swap back, because I don't really have any other AoE. I was ready to exil that, but then I remembered it's fortified. Not tyrannical. We're kind of slamming. I thought the DH would be doing a lot more damage on this pool. Just because he can delete the adds instantly, pretty much. Well, we're five seconds off Sol Ren, so I'm going to save my Fury of the Eagle for then, just to get full value out of that. Let's go over here. There we go. Fury of the Eagle. That throws a bomb as well. Yeah, they instantly died there. Then run over here. Death Shack room. I forgot to use my bomb there. 
And I'm just going to pop my trinket now. A little bit awkward because it has it doesn't always line up with my coordinated assault. Because it's a three minute cooldown. But. Oh no, I didn't realize that I was getting coordinated assault back. Oh my god, trolling. I did not think that that had been a two minute fight already. That's insane. Oh, we just focus bots here. And get away. Nice. Not bad. We top the overall on a non-meta spec. Let's go, baby. See? Survival is meta. You heard it here first. Serpent Sting is our top damage, which is honestly insane. Fury of the Eagle. I mean, bombs would be top, but like they're broken down into all of these, right? Um, Master Marksman pumps as well. Like Survival's damage profile is honestly so weird. Like All of this does a damage here. Like Master Marksman and then Serpent Sting as well. Right, let's loot up. Any loot? No loot. Hit him with GG. Again, let me know down in the comments what class you want to see me play next, and we'll get it done.